Hello everybody, this is John, back again with another video where I eat some ramen, and today is going to be one of those that is hot. And this is supposed to be, according to the package, Spicy Hot Challenge. And on the front of this it says, spiciest in the world, and then those Korean letters is something that translates like a... Uh, the great king um and it might be the great king uh and the, the name that is kind of like yumladawang or yumradawang so i purchased this um you might have seen in my previous video uh where i also got the four chi samyang bowl uh from a beauty supply store online from korea and they have this uh, written as Yi Yo M Ra De Wang Ramen. And it says that it is the brand Arum, A R U M. But I've also found this on eBay, and it says the spiciest ramen in the world, Yum La Da Wang. So one is Y E O M R. And one is Y U M L. Um, and they all end the same. Ah, da, wong. Uh, one has an A E, one has a just A. But uh, other than that, it's the same. One on the eBay, it says that this is 21,000 Scoville heat units, which would make it spicier than the 3X uh, from Samyang. But it wouldn't be in the realm of hundreds of thousands like uh, the ones that have ghost pepper and Carolina Reapers and that kind of stuff and uh, do, do, do. Um, not much more information they they say how to eat it it's 550 milliliters of water uh, you boil it you add the powder which this says powder at the top I believe and the bottom of this, um, I think it says something like spicy challenge or something. This one says flake. And then I think that says king. The big king or something like that. Whatever this one says. So you add this when you're boiling the water. This had like uh, different type of vegetables in it. You can see I'll pull one of them out. I think it's uh, there's some seaweed in here. Uh, two kinds of seaweed at least. Then there's some carrot as well. And the bag, the big bag had just like red powder in it. You know, I've been drinking some uh, carbonated water. Just to help um, have something in my stomach before. It's kind of cold and bubbly to help me burp out some stuff. Um, I also have some milk in case things go too bad. But this bowl here, if it gets to a point where it feels a little bit too challenging, I'm not going to force myself to finish it. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead and try it out. The noodles on these are very thick and bouncy. And when I was testing it to see if the noodles were done, the chew on these were amazing. But I only had one. So let's get a mouthful and see what happens. Well... Mm, before my mind goes too blank the noodles have gotten a little more soft since I finished cooking them and walked them over here um, so they're not as bouncy or springy they kind of got a little mushy or soggy but it hasn't really been that long Whew. there's already pain settling in on my mouth Okay. 
this challenge isn't going to be me finishing this bowl. This is going to be me testing to see how spicy this is. Whew. Here we go. At least one more bite. They say in the eBay listing of this, that was one thing I forgot to say. Where was it? Okay. It was in the second eBay listing I saw it under. That was in a, written in Spanish for some reason. What would you go to the description? It's written in English. And it says that this is much more spicier than Bulma Wong. And this is called Yum Lada Wong. I guess Bulma Wong was the Devil of Fire one that I've tried before. And that one, I was able to finish the whole bowl. Uh, spoilers, I do have a new version of that one, which is called Stir Fried. And it says that it has Reaper in it. And it says 150,000 Scoville Heat units on that one. Um, I will be making that one and I'll be tasting it. I'll probably get max two bites of that in. <sighs> Not that I couldn't. Just that I don't want to deal with the issues that uh, my body has experienced lately with that level of spice. Now this one, it says 21,000 Scoville heat units. I can believe that. Because, like, it's spicy enough that my entire mouth is in pain, but not spicy enough that I feel like I'm totally, like, breaking down internally. The noodles in this one are surprisingly good. Um, you'd think on like these challenge level things that they're not going to worry too much about having the best noodle product. It's all about the spice level. Like the flavor isn't even that much important. And speaking of flavor, I have a little spoon of the broth that I'm going to taste. Let's try to see what kind of flavors other than just hot is in here. helped me from not having uh, atrocious hiccups to start this with but um, let's uh, taste some of the vegetables in here there's a little seaweed flavor to that still a lot of heat okay My body's always already telling me to stop, so that's what I'm going to do. I think I got enough of that in to tell you what I think. Eventually, anyway. Let me see if this milk will help. I just need um, a little bit more of my brain function back. Less pain in my mouth. And I think that's just something that's going to happen over time. Not right now with just milk or cold water. Okay. The Yum La Yum Ramadan. Spiciest ramen in the world. I can tell you it's not the spiciest in the world because. I know for a fact there's at least two that are spicier, if not three.
but I could easily say, without a doubt, this is the fourth hottest ramen I've had. Instant ramen. My mouth is hurting. My mouth is hurting. My muscles are a little twi twitchy. I think if I ate any more of that, I would, start to get, I would start getting pretty bad cramping and stomach pains. Like before. And I, I, I'm hoping that that doesn't happen. Because uh, I did the one chip challenge. That was just one chip that did it to me. And I took three new bites of noodles in. A few sips of this. Raw. Whew. Let me blow my nose here. So, this brandless or maybe Aram brand. Yumla, Yumra, whichever one it really is, the Wang Rong Ramen, 21,000 scoville heat units at least. Whew. I'm going to read up on the, the back here, and if I can figure out exactly what peppers we're using, I'll put it in the description. None of the listings I saw online give a lot of information about it. There's a lot of warnings that I did read. If you can't handle spicy food, do not try this. That's a, a true comment, if I've ever heard one. Um, this one just says enjoy. I don't know how that's possible. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video of the spiciest ramen in the world. Oh, I didn't notice this. They got like a little fire breathing yelling guy there. Pretty cool. Maybe he's the king that we were talking about. Okay. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you like it. Hope this service is a warning to people that this one is not one to be joked with. It doesn't have a lot going for it on the exterior. And it's kind of vague about where it's from, besides the country of Korea. But it is not one to joke with. Hot stuff, guys. Hot stuff. Anyway, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.